and welcome to another video. This one is about Python's argparse module, and we're going to be talking about how to write a wrapper command line tool. I did another video on argparse before, and I will have that linked in the description, so check that one out as well. Uh, but let's jump into it. So I couldn't think of a good example. Um, I've done this a couple of times, but most of the times that I've needed to write a wrapper tool, um, they were very, very specific, and I'd have to spend half the video explaining what I was trying to explain to you before actually showing you the cool stuff. Uh, so we're going to be writing a very, very silly tool today, and it's going to be called uh, Docker Host Env for, for no reason. Uh, Docker Host Env .py. And what we're going to try and do today is write a wrapper around the Docker command, except it's always going to pass along an environment variable that um, lists the um, the host as an environment variable. And this is going to be very, very incomplete. So um, I'm only going to show you some, some very basics today, uh, but yeah, actually now, now that I think about it, this is much harder than I thought it was going to be. So we'll see what happens. If name equals main exit main and def main, actually, we're probably just going to take a shortcut here. It's not going to be exactly the same as Docker, but it's always going to run Docker run. So we're, we're going to cut that out of it because that, that's what makes this difficult. Import arg parse and uh, parser equals arg parse dot argument parser. Um, let's actually skip arg parse for now and just make this do what I want it to do. And then we'll add some options later where we'll need an argument parser. So we're going to need uh, either OS or subprocess. We'll use OS to do exec. And our command is going to be docker run. Um, and then it's going to take in the, in, the environment variable that we want to add, which is going to be dash e, and that's going to be host user, and that can be os.get uid, uh, and we can also add host group. This might be useful if you need to do stuff where um, the thing inside of your Docker container might need to write files that are owned by a particular user. You might pass these along and do something like that. Um, but then we want to do sys.argv1 colon, so that way we pass along all of the arguments that came from the outer script. Now, note we haven't used argparse yet. Uh, we'll do that when we add an option. We're actually going to add an option to turn these off. <laughs> and finally, we'll do execvp. I did a video on execvp versus subprocess, so I will try and remember to link that one in the description as well. But if we run this now, uh, Python 3 docker host dev, and let's say we run Ubuntu focal uh, rmti ubuntu focal bash uh, and we spell arg price wrong actually a better example would have been to always pass rm <laughs> um, but if you look in here now we should have our our environment variables that we passed along here so basically same same dealio as uh, <laughs> as these environment variables are but now maybe i don't want this maybe this breaks some script or something and so i want some option to turn this off and so what we want, what I want to do is be able to pass, you know, no host env. Now, of course, I would probably just run the Docker command directly, but let's, you know, for the sake of discussion, add this no host env, which is going to disable this behavior here. And so in order to do that, we need to make an argument parser, parser dot add argument dash dash no host env action equals store true. Uh, and if we did parser dot parse args. We can have that option there. The problem is now that we've called parser.parseargs, it's going to try and parse every single argument in our command. And you know, Docker is constantly changing. It's constantly getting new flags and new options. And um, I don't think it really makes sense for us to duplicate all of those options in our little program here that just intends to add one small behavior. And so what you can use is there's this cool function called parse known args. And that will return you an args object as well as the rest of the arguments. So these will be the ones that were unknown to our argument parser. And these will be the ones that were known here. So we will only get our no host env argument here and not any of the rest of the things. Um, and then down here, instead of doing sys.argv, we can use rest. These will be the original arguments from the original program. And so now you'll see that this passes through. We haven't you know, implemented our behavior yet. So env grep. Uh, host, you'll see we still have our host group and username here. So, but now we can take this option and we can start modifying how how this works down here. So we could say like 
Now if uh, args dot no host env, actually we would probably do uh, dest equals host env and action equals store false. That way we're not double negativing here. If args dot host env, then we would do this. Otherwise we would have commands equals docker run star rest, which is kind of just the default command that we had before. And so now if we do this, we, we have our own little wrapper command. It has this special option here. And if we do no host env, we should now no longer have those variables here, which is great. We just have this one that's in default from, from our container. Cool, so we've implemented that behavior. Uh, one small problem though, as soon as we call help here, we kind of get not maybe the best help output here. Uh, like it would be kind of useful to show our help and then the Docker help inside of this. And so what we can do is we can disable the help. Is it this way, disable help equals true? Mmm. Mmm. Let me see. Python 3 m pydoc arg parse dot argument parser. Uh, add help equals false. That was close. Um, so now what this will do is it will skip our help and it'll pass it along to Docker. However, again, now we don't have our option. <laughs> Um, so that's that's kind of a, a bad middle ground. So what we can do is we can add a help option into here. Parser.add argument dash dash help action equals store true. And then we can check for that exactly. So if we do if args.help, is there a show help in arg parse? Uh, format help, print help. Yeah, there we go. Uh, then we can do parser.print help, and then um, probably also print something like print uh, yeah, let's do this. Print this times 79, that way we get a line separator, and then docker run dash dash help as well, and then we can exec uh, docker, docker run, dash dash help. That way we get our help as well as docker's help in here as well. So you can see now uh, up here, we get, you know, our host env and then docker runs help. Uh, and probably put this above here. That'll maybe look a little bit better. So we get our help and then we get docker's help. So this, this might be one way that you write a wrapper command. Uh, but what I really wanted to show you in this video is the parse known args and how you can use this to get partial parsing of arguments. Uh, you might also use this to do multiple stages of argument parsing. So for example, Flakegate uses this to uh, do some initial bootstrapping to figure out like what are your config files, where do we figure out the configuration from, and then it does a final parsing to do all of the command line arguments on top of the config file stuff. And so you might use this to do multi-stage parsing or to do a wrapper command or all sorts of different stuff like that. But anyway, this is parse known args. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.